viewers, you are highly welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial today, we are going to be looking at this question on the board. But before the commencement of the solving, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit on the bell icon so that you will be notified anytime we upload a new content. So now into this tutorial today, we are going to solve for the value of x to the unknown. So now this is actually uh, an exponential equation. Why? Because we find the unknown to be at the position of power. So therefore, we need to get the value of what? The value of x. So now, let's see what we are going to do. So now from here, so what we need to do is, we start from here, we have 7 to power 20. 24 that is 2024 plus 7 to power 2023 so now what we need to do here is that we try to take the common factor so now to take the common factor house here you can see that we can have 7 to power 20 23 to be what to be the uh, common factor then i try to put this inside the bracket so I'll be having this to be 7 to power 1. Don't forget that this is from what? From the law of indices. Now let's see these two now. Okay. Now if you want to write these two, you can see that this uh, bracket is multiplication. So 7, 0, 7, 2, 2, 4, no, 3 multiplied by 7 to power 1 from the law of indices. You can see that we are having the same basis, therefore the powers are said to be added. So now when we have the two together, we are going to, are going to be having 7 to power 20, you know, 24. Do you understand now? So that is what we have here. So now if we take 7 to power 2023 to be a, a common factor from the two terms here, you can see that from the first term, which is 7 to power 2024, 20, this is what will be the, uh, the remnants. Are you getting it now? So we are going to have we are going to have 7 to power 1 here. Plus this one, we have already taken this out. So this one will be 1 here. So don't forget that 7 to power 1 is the same thing as what? The same thing as 7. So we don't need this. We have 7 plus 1. Then divided by 7 to power x equals to what? Equals to 8. So now from here, we can see that when we have this thing together, that is 7 and 1 together, we are going to be having 8. We have 8. And don't forget that the bracket is the same thing as multiplication multiplied by 7 to power what? 7 to power 2023. Are we following? Then equals to 8. Okay? So now from here, you see that n over 7 to power x here. Yeah? So now from here, what the next thing to do? So the next thing to do is we should try to make this you know equation in a linear form. So by clearing out the fraction that is 7 to power x. So now to clear out this 7 to power x, what we need to do is to multiply this you know through the equation. So when you multiply this equation by 7 to power x here and multiply this one to 7 to power x here so you can see that this we cancel this one so what we have is 8 times 7 20 23 equals to 8 times 7 to power x are you following? So now from here, what's the next thing to do? We can see that 8 is here, 8 is here. I get now, we can divide 2 by 8. So dividing 2 by 8, you can see that we have division by 8, division by 8. This we cancel this, this we cancel this. So now from there, so what we are going to have is, um, we are going to have, don't forget this is not part of the the solving so now from here what we are going to have is what we are going to have 7 2023 to power 2023 equals to what 7 to power 7 to power x no now so from here we are now going to use what apply the method of uh, what you call the law of indices so whenever you are having the same basis so their power are said to be equal so 
Therefore, we can have our x to be 20, 23. So we have what? We have the solutions to this problem to be what? To be 20, 23. As we are facing the year 2023, so we should, uh, the 2023 should be in uh, favor of us. If you like this class, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit on the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our class. Thank you for watching and share to your colleagues. Share and like. Bye.